Hey everyone! So I'm doing another neutral type of eyeshadow look. Some of you guys have mentioned how you miss seeing the bronzes and browns and stuff like that. And the colors for this just made me think of chocolate. So I'm going to be doing like a brownish kind of smoky eye look. Definitely can be suitable for daytime or nighttime. You can definitely deepen it up for nighttime if you wish. And that's really about it. If my hair looks a little bit different, it's because I finally got a trim. It was just growing out and looking really like messy and way too wispy up front so now it has a bit more of a blunt cut but that's just to give it a neater look and I definitely am growing out my hair so I know some of you have noticed that it's growing out pretty fast but it's not really growing out fast enough especially the back part so it's gonna take some time um, I definitely trimmed my bangs too so because it was just getting way too heavy and so uh, I just feel so refreshed but okay anyways hope you guys enjoy this tutorial okay so we're gonna start by applying Urban Decay Primer Potion as a base on the lids just to keep the eye makeup from smearing and creasing throughout the day. Just smooth that out. Pat it in. Now I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. I'm just going to use my finger and apply this all over the lid all the way up to the brow. You can apply a little bit in here too but we're going to apply some concealer underneath our eyes later on. Okay, now I'm going to take this Urban Decay Shadow in Smog. It's a really gorgeous golden brownish color, one of my favorite shadows. And I'm just going to take the Studio Tools Smudge Brush, but you can use a larger, any kind of stiff, dense brush to pack on the shadow. And I'm just going to apply the shadow all over the inner lid area, just packing it on. You don't have to go all the way on the outside here. I'm going to be applying that darker shade there. Now I'm going to take this NYX palette, the Runway Collection, in Champagne and Caviar. But you can use any similar colors to this. I'm going to be using quite a few of the shades in here because they're just very neutral shades. Using this $1 blending brush from e.l.f. I'm just going to go into this kind of like warm brownish shade. I want a medium shade for the crease area and I'm going to start applying that into the crease area. And also blend out the edges of that first shimmery shade that we applied. So as you can see, there's a different texture in this shadow. It's not as shimmery, which is perfect. Now I'm going to take this Estee Lauder Contour Brush, one of my absolute favorite brushes, and go into this deeper brown shade. And I'm just going to start by packing it on in the outer corner out here. And then lightly just feathering it in and blending it in. If you're afraid of going too far up, just focus the color really close to your lash line first and just kind of blend it inwards a little here. You can go back with your blending brush from before and just soften this area up. If you feel like the inner shadow kind of lost a little bit of its shine, you can always pack on more color. And it really is always best to just layer anyways. It kind of prolongs your eye makeup wear if you just layer on more shadows to really set it in. So I'm just going to pack on a little bit more color. I'm going to take whatever is remaining on that brush and just smudge it into my lower lash line. Using that same brush I'm going to go into this medium shade and just smudge that underneath and overlapping it. And then going into that deep brown shade with the same brush I'm going to smudge this into the outer half of my upper lash line and just kind of blend it in and smudge it into the outer area of your lower lash line. And then I'm going to go into this soft kind of golden shade right here with a Sigma E55 brush. You can definitely use a lighter color just depending on your skin tone. But I just want to lightly highlight this area. It has a bit of a shimmer to it, but it's not too bright of a color, so it works out really nicely. And I'm just going to blend this into the other shades, just to blend it all up. And I'm going to go in with this Makeup Forever Eyeliner Pencil in 6 carats or 6K. And I'm just going to lightly apply this to my upper lash line, very thin line. Nothing too dramatic, but it's a cold pencil, so... It's easier to just glide on. 
and I'm really just trying to smudge that into my lashes. And then I'm going to apply this to my waterline as well. Going back in with my Studio Tools smudge brush and this black shadow from that NYX palette. I'm going to smudge this into the eyeliner just to soften it up and thicken it up a little. Same goes for my lower lash line where I just applied the pencil. And just smudge that out on the outer half. If you have any fall underneath your eye, feel free to wipe it off with like a facial wipe or even just brush it off. I'm going to go back in with my concealer and just apply this to my lower eye area. Kind of neaten up the look and brighten up your under eye area. And I want to brighten up the inner eye area even more, so I'm going to go in with this white shade to apply right to the inner corner of your eye. And then I'm just going to add a touch of that golden color just to soften it up. Okay, lastly, you want to curl and apply your mascara. And that's the complete look. Hope you enjoyed. It's just a really easy look to do, but definitely an easy go-to look for anything. Could be for daytime, nighttime, for casual. And that's it. Hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.